Hi everyone, uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, today I wanted to share with you how I got my master's degree. Um, I am um, a full-time mom, I am a full-time employee, um, and just to give you a little background, I am a registered dietitian. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to go over um, how I accomplished it. Um, that being said, I also, um, I have two kids and um, it actually, it took me two years to complete the program and within that time frame, I actually had two kids, which is crazy, right? <laughs> um, so anyway, I wanted to share, just answer some questions kind of like interview style. Um, so my, my first question is, uh, why did I pursue my master's degree? And uh, ultimately, I actually, well, I went to a conference, a nutrition conference, um, specifically to sports, sports focus, sports nutrition. I went to a conference and um, I've been to a few before as well, but in this particular case, I just, I had a passion for sports nutrition and um, I was just looking around the room um, and reading everyone's name tags. And I noticed um, that a lot of them had master's degrees or higher, higher level of um, education. And that kind of, I, I was contemplating getting my master's degree before, um, but I never really took it seriously. And it wasn't until then that I really was like, you know what, I, I have my RD credential, it's on my name tag, like that's cool, I'm, I'm proud of it. But I just felt like a really, like a deep drive to also pursue my master's and get an advanced degree. So that really is what kind of kicked me in the butt to, um, to want to pursue my master's and, and get that, that higher level of education, um, which kind of might be silly to some, but um, I guess part of the other reason too was I wanted to kind of prove to myself that I could do it. Um, kind of in my undergrad career and um, even growing up, like I'm a huge self-doubter. Like I always said, I can't do it. I can't do it, I can't do it no matter what it was growing up, sports, school, math, you know, whatever it is, public speaking, oh my gosh, don't get me started with that. I always just told myself that I wasn't capable of doing it. And I think this really, I really wanted to prove to myself that I, I could do it. So um, yeah, so that's another reason why I kind of wanted to pursue my master's as well. Um, so yeah, I already mentioned I had kid, I, I had two kids. I actually got pregnant this summer before I started my um, program. And my little guy uh, was born in April, so I got through the fall semester pregnant um, without any kids to raise. So that was, I guess, sort of nice <laughs> to get started that way. And I actually did my um, one of my more difficult classes in that uh, during that time frame. Um, so what program did I do? I um, did the Eastern Michigan University Masters um, in Human Nutrition program, and. It was all online, which I'm so thankful for. There is absolutely no way I could have done it in person, um, working full time and then of course having the kids. So it was online, super flexible. My professors were amazing, even though there's probably pros and cons to um, you know online versus in person. Um, and I was actually kind of apprehensive in you know doing it online because I've never I had never done online classes before. Um, but I'm so glad I did. It was an awesome program. Again, my professors were great. There are, again, pros and cons. Um, some things kind of bugged me, but ultimately, overall, I really liked the program. And a few of my professors were really awesome. Um, I mentioned like I was gonna have a baby, you know, in, before I even started the class. And they were willing to work with me um, and work around the delivery of the baby and the hospitalization and all of that. So it was really, really nice. Um, to be able to kind of not have that pressure, um, especially you know when you're about to have little ones and you're pregnant and all that goes with that. So um, yeah, so it was really, really a great program. I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, so uh, that was that was great. So um, how long did it take? I already mentioned it took me two years. Um, they gave gave you six years actually to finish it. So you could really kind of go at your own pace. Um, I pretty much did two classes, online classes per semester. I also did um, uh, summer classes as well. And I'll kind of, I'll mention a few things about the summer classes too in a, in a little bit. But, um, but yeah, so two years, um, 
and two classes per semester, which is something I could manage. Um, a few times I only did one class per semester, I think. Um, so yeah, but you can, it's really, it was really flexible and I really appreciate that. So, um, and the fact that I, if I had to take six years, heaven forbid, I, I could have. Um, some people actually did. I think I knew one other gal that, that it took her about six years. So, so good to know. But um, let me think here. Oh, how, yeah, how did you do homework and study? So um, thankfully I had a very supportive husband that really helped. Um, but there's a few things that in my situation, I'm, I'm, I probably would say I'm lucky because um, not everyone has it this way, especially working full time and again, having kids. Um, one thing that I took advantage of was I um, was taking a commuter bus from my, my hometown to my work. And so that I obviously didn't have to drive. Um, so I could just sit and read. I, yes, I took my t big clunky textbooks on the bus with me and I read on the bus. Um, I didn't take a laptop or anything. I didn't really have the need to do that, but um, certainly I, I could have. And that commute was a probably about 40 minutes or so, so I could get through quite a bit. That was there and back. Um, I'm sorry, in the morning, 40 minutes, in the afternoon, 40 minutes. So roughly an hour and a half a day I could devote to reading. So I definitely took advantage of that. Um, I, of course, as you already know, I had two kids. So I was lucky enough to be able to breastfeed my kids and um, also pump at work. Um, so I took advantage, I had three pumping sessions a day and roughly about a half hour each time. So I, yes, I took homework with me. I, I at that point in time, I, I did take a laptop um, or my, my books as well um, to do homework and to study. So I definitely took advantage of that. Um, also breaks at work. Um, I, again, a half hour break. I got to build into my day, so I would take take advantage of that and do homework um, on break. And then also, uh, my work we work Saturdays and we, we rotate, um, so I could have a flex day off during the week or any day um, of the week that month. So I definitely took advantage of that as well. Um, so yes, I would actually drop my kids off at daycare and come back home and do homework, study whatever it was I had to do. Um, I also did. I maybe took. I don't, maybe I didn't, I don't know. I took maybe one or two um, just PT, PTO days to, um, to devote to, to school. And then um, also, of course, uh, working or doing homework on the weekends as well um, as, as, I could, as I could. So, of course, that means dad had to help out and do some babysitting during that time. Um, and yeah, so definitely took advantage of weekends as well. Um, for me, it was not, I couldn't, the weeknights were just really hard. Getting home, dinner, bath time, getting kids to bed. I just could not take time to do homework um, in the evenings or study in the evenings. So that's why I did everything I could during the day and um, breaks and pumping sessions, all of that on the bus as well. So, and again, not everyone's situation um, can, can allow for this. So I understand that. And I know it's um, not easy. It really isn't easy. Um, so I was really lucky in that regard. Um, yeah, so I want to mention too is um, I did take summer classes, like I said already, and those classes, a few of them were um, like halftime, cut in half. So yeah, you were kind of doing twice the work, but it was condensed. And to me, with the particular classes I took, it wasn't that hard to do, I thought. Um, so I really appreciated that, taking advantage of that, um, getting through those classes a lot quicker. Um, really helped. I also did a self-study course um, in which I actually made my own curriculum um, and I got my own textbook and um, I basically just had to uh, get it approved with the professor that was kind of like mentoring me during that time, making sure I was like keeping up on my tasks and pretty much grading my work as well. Um, so yeah, so I definitely, that was awesome to do. I, um, I actually did sports supplements for that. So um, that was awesome. Um, again, it was really like um, flexible and accommodated my, um, what I needed. So um, yeah, so that was really, really, really cool to do. If you get that opportunity, definitely take advantage of that. At first I was like, oh my gosh, self-study, you know, that sounds scary. Like I don't want to do that, but no, actually it was really, really cool to be able to kind of come up with your own curriculum, pick your own textbook, um, and basically just build it around what you wanted and what you wanted to get out of the, the class. 
So did I write a thesis? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I did have the option to do that. There was three options I could have taken. One was a thesis, one was a um, research project, and the other was doing a, um, a few extra classes or extra credits and a um, research writing course, which I took advantage of that. Again, it was flexible, it was nice. I, I, I could not focus on a thesis with having two kids and working full time. So I took advantage of that and I actually really did um, like that course. I thought it was going to be super hard. It was actually my very last course of the whole program. Um, and to be honest, I wish I did it first because it actually um, taught me how to write better. And with master's degrees programs, of course, there is a lot of writing, a lot of papers that you have to do. Um, so I wish I, <laughs> looking back, I should have taken that class very, the very first time, the very first semester, because I learned so much and my writing would have probably been a lot better. Um, throughout the um, program. Um, so yeah, uh, how did I pay for it? That's a great question. Um, I was lucky in that my work, I work for a company that um, does tuition reimbursement. I think there's, I'm sure there's other companies out there that do that or hospitals, health systems. Um, so if you can get a job at a uh, company that does tuition reimbursement, that would be awesome. Um, mine, they reimbursed me up to, um, it was 75% up to like, I don't know, $6,000, um, a year. So I definitely had to pay out of pocket for, for some of it, but it was definitely, um, great to have the, um, the, the reimbursement part of that through my company. So, um, that helped out a lot in paying for it. Um, last question I think here is, was it worth it? Um, I would say yes. I'm actually, I think I'm gonna do a separate video on why I think it's important to get your master's if you're a dietitian. Um, but it was definitely worth it. Again, for me, I wanted to kind of like prove to myself that I could do it, um, which I did. I can't believe I did. And I actually wanna brag a little bit. I finished the program getting all A's. I got one class where I got an A minus. But um, I, so I finished with the three point, what is that, I don't even know what GPA that is, three point, um, I don't know, 3.9 or something like that, um, GPA. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. I learned a lot. I, I, I learned again that I could even do online classes. I was really scared about that. That was awesome. Um, I built my confidence up. Um, again, I'm a huge self doubter. So I was able to kind of build my confidence up as well as my, um, knowledge and nutrition, um, and definitely I learned more about just even reading research articles, um, which again, with, with a program, you're going to do that a lot. Um, so it was definitely worth it. Um, as a dietitian, um, you uh, obviously need to keep your skills and your knowledge sharp and on top of things, basically, um, because there's always every day there's new things that come out, new information, new studies, um, new recommendations. Um, so it's definitely something uh, to take seriously. Um, on top of, I know we have to do our own uh, uh, CPEs that we keep track of, so we have to keep on top of our education, but doing a master's program is definitely worth it. Um, you gain, gain a lot of, again, wisdom um, and tools and skills through, through the program. And again, it's a huge confidence builder. And um, on top of that too, you, um, you Generally, you will get paid more. I know there, um, unfortunately, I didn't get a pay bump, but um, I know that uh, for the most part, there is an article out there, I think from our academy, that um, that you, with a master's degree, you generally do get paid more. So that is um, definitely something to, to keep in mind. It does open up doors, I think, too. Um, a lot of jobs out there do either require it or um, they put it on there as, as a, something that they do want in their in their um, applicants to have a master's degree so definitely will open up a lot of doors I think too so so that being said um, yeah I definitely um, I'm again I'm proud of myself um, I definitely think it is is worth it it's in worth the investment invest in yourself invest in your education um, and yeah pursue more so um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you how I got through the master's program. 
um, as a full-time employee, a full-time mom. Um, if you have any other questions, something I missed, um, please ask, please comment down below. I'm happy to answer questions. I want to support you, um, those who are dietitians or not, um, uh, or who have other you know degrees, other backgrounds. Um, definitely want to support you and help you get through that um, and know that you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it, okay? Um, so anyway, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions, please comment down below. Um, and with that, I, 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 will, I will leave you there. So yeah, take care. Have a great day, and I hope to see you soon.